You are released, you can go home. If you have finished at 80, God releases you, you can go home. But if you are just starting at 80, like Moses, you cannot go now. The Holy Spirit will keep you alive. Your blood system, everything will be refined. You'll keep alive. Seventy years, general. But you are not general. You are special. You are significant. You are peculiar. That's what Ezekiah realized. And Isaiah came to him and said, Ezekiah, you are finished. You, you, you are finished. And set your house in order. Because you will die. He allowed Ezekiah to go. Have you ever received a prophecy? And the person sending the prophecy wrote it in red ink. And then he told you some reddish information. And the conclusion of the information is you are finished. What do you do with the letter? Ezekiel threw that aside. Every negative letter that comes to you, throw it aside. And he said, God, I am finished, but I have not finished. Life finishing labor has not finished. And God said the same I say. Say, go tell him. He is not finished anymore. How many years? How many years? He will give you enough number of years to finish what he called you to do. And so, don't minimize the Spirit of God. My point is, Ananias should not have died on that day. It's not the will of God. It was lying against the Spirit that cut short his life. And the wife came that same day a few hours later. They had agreed together to lie to the Holy Ghost. And they shouldn't have died on that day. And Peter said, why has Satan filled your heart and you agreed with your husband to tell a lie? This is not a lie unto man. It's a lie unto God. Why are you tempting the spirit of God? Your life will not be cut short. You will not be an Ananias, you will not be a sapphire. Emma misuse not the spirit. Misuse not the spirit. The spirit wants to do something great, something mighty, something dynamic, something heavenly in your life. Don't pull down the spirit to the level of a messenger. Is God the Holy Ghost? Is the third person in the Trinity? Misuse not the spirit. And neglect not the spirit. Neglect not the spirit. 
you are trying to carry load. Look at the person sitting down there. She wants to help you carry the load. You look away from him. You look away from her. And you are trying and trying. And this thing is too heavy for you. And you neglect the one that will come and help you to carry it. Neglect not the spirit. You struggle. You try. You do your best. But you are not able to carry it. Holy Spirit, come and help me. It will help you. The load you couldn't carry by yourself. From today, you will carry. You will never say again what the partnership of the Holy Spirit, what the help of the Holy Spirit, I cannot. You and the Holy Spirit, you are more than majority. Oh, obstruct not the spirit. Oh, obstruct not the spirit. When God wants to do something, and He's about doing it, and you come and you're on before the Holy Spirit trying to hinder Him. No, you want to cooperate with the Spirit of God. If all the members in our church, I mean in your church, if they will take understanding and do all this that we're talking about, there will be a revival in every church from this day. P, pervert not the spirit. What he says, say it exactly that way. Q, quench not the spirit. Quench not the spirit. From today, the Holy Spirit will now begin to move in unprecedented ways in our ministries. And when somebody begins to talk, begins to preach, begins to pray, and he's not been praying like that before, but you need to understand that we put that cold kettle of fire. And now the kettle never made any noise before, but the water now is boiling, and the steamer and the vapor is rising, and it's throwing away the need. This does not happen before in the presence of the fire under the kettle. Don't say, stop, stop, stop. Don't say stop. Quench not the spirit. When something is moving inside of you, you're not a man, you're not a woman used to running. You know, when you talk, you stay in one place. That's what I used to do. For one hour, one and a half hours, I stand there. I will not move. I open the Bible. I look at just the person in front of me. And it was all right. But the fire came more. The power came more. And now I can go there, go there. Don't coin this. And say, Pastor, stay like you used to stay. Stand like you used to stand. I say, no. No. The spirit is moving. As the spirit is moving you, moving me, it will move you. If you have not been jumping before, you will jump. If you have not been running before, you will run. So, but sometimes they ask me, 
When, you know, I told you I'm not going to be 83 next a few days' time. I preach one message in the morning. I preach in the afternoon. I preach in the evening. Three messages in a day. And when I do the number three, I don't stay like this on the pulpit. I stand up. I look at the people. I point at you. They say, Pastor, are you not tired? I say, when the spirit is moving, I never get tired. My brother, where are you there? My sister, where are you there? Fire power upon your life in Jesus' name. God bless you. Quench not the spirit. <clears throat> I resist not the spirit. In whatever direction the spirit wants to move, resist not the spirit. The Lord will be with you. And as you go from today, you will preach like you never preached. You will pray like you never prayed. You will sing like you never sang. There is singing with a small s. There is singing with a capital S. You know, anybody can sing, almost. But Saul had the evil spirit. It tortured him. It tormented him. It vexed him. And he could find nothing. A king has access to all the medical opportunities in his country. Nothing worked. And I call somebody with an instrument just to play the instrument. There is playing little P, there is playing capital P. And David came and he sat down and he put his hands on the heart. And the evil spirit recognized the inspired music. And immediately David began to play. The Holy Spirit said, I cannot endure this. The, the evil spirit said, I cannot endure this one. The evil spirit went out. Our singers will sing with inspiration from today. Don't misunderstand me. They have been singing well. They have been singing with inspiration and illumination. But now they are receiving the Holy Spirit in a new way. And when the Holy Spirit comes, everything you do will now be at a higher level. We're looking at point number three. Point number three, we're looking at renew, repress not the humble spirit. Renewal has now come. For me, I mean it, I said for me, you know, I've been renewed, but looks like um, coming to Cameroon is changing me. Power in Cameroon, anointing in Cameroon. Before I came, you know, I had the will. I, I told you, William, will I am. I had the will. I had the purpose. I had the passion. But since I came to Cameroon, I feel I can jump higher than ever jump. 
I can move faster than I ever did. If that is happening to me, Cameroon, you inside, you inside, higher, farther, greater, more, come upon you in Jesus' name. Renew, repress not the humble spirit. Renewal will come in your life. And it means strive not with the spirit. My spirit shall not always strive with man. Change not the spirit. Sapphira, why have you agreed together to tempt the Holy Spirit? Underestimate not the Spirit. Don't estimate the Holy Ghost in you. Through you, it will say what you have never said. He will accomplish what you have never accomplished. And don't underestimate what he can do through you. Be vex not the spirit. Vex not the spirit. And now double you. Withdraw not from the spirit. It's exciting to have the Holy Spirit. It's ex exonerating, it's uh, exalting to be united with the Spirit. And you will not withdraw from the Spirit. And I pray the Spirit of God will never withdraw from you. Exasperate not the Spirit. Don't tire out the Spirit. Don't uh, combat, don't have any conflict with the spirit. And yield not to another spirit. And zigzag not from uh, the spirit. Look at those two children pray, pray. One is running after the other. And the one in front does not want this other one behind to catch him. So he runs here, 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 and so that the one behind will not catch him. Zigzag, zigzag. Don't zigzag the Holy Spirit anymore. It's coming to you. Stay where he will find you. Don't turn away. Whatever you have done, whatever you feel, when the Holy Spirit comes, he will care for you. He will comfort you. He will lift you up. He will revive you. He will renew you. And from that moment on, a new life will begin. Can it start now? I say, can it start now? You will never be the same again. Allow me to give my own testimony. Now that I've come to Cameroon, I will never be the same again. And you, and you, rise up, rise up and tell the Lord, rise up and tell the Lord, here I am, here we are, the Holy Spirit wants to take over your life. Receive. Receive. He shall receive power. Power. 
power. Fire power. Everything cold, the Lord will revive. Fire. Fervency. Power. New life. Receive. No sleeping anymore. It's coming. Power it has come. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Don't resist. Receive. Raise up their vested souls. Raise up. Don't ruin. He has left for you the appointed weeks of the harvest. Go and labor. Go and work. Power is going with you. Any anointing going with you. A new baptism going with you. A new courage going with you. A new dominion. It's there. It's there. It's there. Receive. 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 It shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses.
In Jesus' name we pray. You have received power. And what you do after this session now, you will do in the power of the Lord. What used to knock you down will not knock you down anymore. What you were afraid of in the past, you will not be afraid anymore. Your life will be powerful. Your life will be impactful. You will not live a useless life. Everyone without exception. You are going up. You are moving forward. Achievement in your life. What are you? Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for the spirit. Thank you for the power. Thank you for the fire. Thank you for the passion. Thank you for everything you've done. Lord, without exception, every brother, every sister, every minister, every child of God, Lord, I pray from this hour, a new anointing in your life in Jesus' name. Father, for everyone, a new breakthrough. A new breakthrough. Every door before you will be open. Everything you ought to do, the power, the anointing to do, will come upon your life. A, a new courage to conquer. A new courage to conquer. Upon every brother and every sister. Dynamite in your life. Everything that needs to be shaken will be shaken around you by that dynamite in Jesus' name. A new energy supernatural. You will not operate at the natural level anymore. Supernatural enablement fire and fervency fire and fervency now you can stand now you can run now you can work now you can labor and I pray the engine of fire the engine of the spirit of God will work in every life, every heart, in Jesus' name. Now you can go in this power. Valiant man, valiant woman, go in this power. And you continue to grow. You continue to glow. That this power in your life will never come down. Will never wait. Lord, I pray the power to heal for, for that brother, for that sister. This sign shall follow you as believe. You will lay your hands on the sea and they shall recover. Lord, I pray inspiration for every life. Illumination for every life. You will not be in the dark anymore. The light of the glory of God will shine through your life. Joy.
have joy today. Amen. Joy tomorrow. Amen. Joy beyond the average. Amen. Joy unspeakable. Amen. In your life. Amen. Cast away the sorrow. Amen. Cast away the sadness. Amen. Wear a happy face. Amen. And everywhere you go. The joy of the Lord will be with you. Yeah. And you will do what you have never done. Yeah. When you wake up in the morning, you see, this is the day. The day the Lord has made. The day of fulfillment. We will hear testimonies coming from you. Testimonies coming from Cameroon. The people that are knitted up. The people who go and they run for the Lord. Good testimony will never cease in your mouth. Lord, now for everyone. A special gift for everyone. Brother, get your own. Sister, receive your own. You have received power. Amen. Since the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Amen. Now you will be witnesses. Amen. Here in Duala. And there in Yaoundé. And there in Baminda. Amen. Everywhere in this country, you are witnesses in Jesus' name. Beyond and above, farther away, will hear the stories of exploits through you. Lord, confirm it in every life. The change, the transformation you have brought for me, for us in Cameroon, that, uh, that transformation will continue to glow. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Go to the Mondays, Messi Seigneur. Confirm your power in every life. In Jesus' name we pray. Avant de nous rasseoir, what do we say to our daddy? Que disons-nous à notre papa? Amen. God bless you. We have come to the end of our minister's conference this morning. We thank God for the great impartation. Merci pour, uh, Our announcement is that the crusade continues this evening. Nous que la se ce soir. And all our new converts, remember our meeting with you here by 3 o'clock. And then all our overseers of uh, Cameroon. The region of Asiers, sub region, and the group of Douala, a group of district pastors of Douala. As others are going, we should all meet behind there. Then, lastly, 
You know, you are here since uh, Friday morning. And you have not registered your name. And obtained this badge. And the program of the minister's conference. Please contact the people concerned and do the registration. God bless you and let the blessing of God remain permanently upon our lives. Good day. Grand Center. All right. We want to remind our brethren from the Grand Center. Thank you very much. Impact. Let's pray. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for this hour. Thank you for your power to lift us up, take us from where we are to where we ought to be. I pray, Lord, you take hold of every life. Move us on. Move us up. Move us forward. Confirm each in every life. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. You can sit down. Our theme is from grace to glory. There are those little words there you might miss out. From to. From to. If you're going to move from one place to the other, you need a from and you need a to. You're coming from somewhere. You're going to another place. It takes motion. And so if you're going to go from grace to glory, that takes motion. If you sit, you're not going from to. If you're stagnant, you're not going from one place to the other. If you are satisfied, 
and you sit or you stand or you stay or you are stagnant there is no motion there is no desire there is no determination there is no destination you are not from to but when you want a change you get up you take steps you move on then you are going from grace to glory the people God has given grace look at Adam Adam in the first chapter of the Bible by grace he was created by grace the whole world was before him by grace he possessed all things but many people think that level is final if I am just like Adam and I have the grace I have the provision what else do I need God wanted Adam to move from grace to glory where he was was just the beginning point and he was still to subdue he was to have